That's right. Uh, known to our team, uh, Jacob, uh, the a senior Indonesian figure is currently in the country. Uh, not necessarily told us who it is, but it's a secret visit. It's being kept under wraps because of the sensitivity. Uh, at any rate, Israel and Indonesia, of course, do not have diplomatic relations, but the trade between the two countries has actually gotten as high as $500 million. And Jacob, by point of comparison, trade between Israel and the UAE, now at $2 billion. On one hand, of course, four times the size of that with Indonesia. But on the other hand, look at the scope and the breadth of relations with the UAE. Indonesia, even without any of that, already at one quarter the size of the trade with the UAE. An Israeli commercial delegation visited Indonesia this summer, now the senior figure coming here. What I can add also is at the conference in Kazakhstan last week and on the sidelines of the conference, Mark Schneier, rabbi in New York, who's also been very active on these issues of Jewish-Muslim relations and Israeli diplomacy, uh, we're setting the stage for Israeli diplomacy with parts of the Muslim world. When I asked him who was next in signing up to the Abraham Accords, he went with Indonesia. So maybe things are happening behind the scenes, maybe this is a sign of what could be coming over the course of time in relations between the two countries. All right, and the Pakistanis? Pakistani, a more open visit, a delegation of nine people, a number of them actually living outside Pakistan, Pakistani Americans, in one case an imam uh, who's living in Britain, but some within Pakistan, and most importantly, Jacob, a former Pakistani minister, and maybe no less important for Pakistanis, a former head of the Pakistani Cricket Association. Mm. And he is one of the people in leading the delegation. Uh, again, we should say not the first Pakistani delegation to come to Israel, and for that matter, not the first uh, Indonesian personality to come to Israel. But what makes these two delegations special, potentially, is the level of seniority, particularly on the Indonesian side, but also on the Pakistani side as well, that a former minister is coming here with this delegation, being led by the Sharaka organization, which, as you know, is involved in relations between Israel and the Abraham Accords countries. So again, Pakistan is a country with obviously very, very rocky politics, but with at least a certain segment of the Pakistani elite, which is interested in doing business with Israel and interested in dialogue with Israel. This delegation, just the latest sign of that. And obviously, as you know here in Israel, Jacob, everyone always looks with a microscope at ties between Israel and the Muslim world, looking for hints of what may be coming and where there might be some kind of opening for progress.